so now we can implement the bottom navigation bar we will create an integer type variable in order to know about the index number of any page on which the user tap that is let's say if any icon the user tap let's say if this is the icon for for you then the index number of that it will get and we will assign it to this integer type variable this way we can remember the page that is on which page basically to which page the user want to go or the user want to navigate so that's why we have to create the screen index integer type variable we will assign it to initialize it with zero and what we can do is we can remove this center okay and we can add bottom navigation bar bottom navigation bar on tap as we have we will have five pages okay five screens so the user will tap on any icon button let's say the user tap on upload video button the user tap on for you button the user tap on profile button and so on so each button will have their own index number so that index number we have to get just to know that is where to which specific page the user want to go okay the user want to navigate so we can display that page to the user so that index number we can get from here okay and what we will do on the on tap we will just assign this index number we will assign this index number to our screen index and then after the on tap we can add the type so the type of the bottom navigation bar will be bottom navigation bar type we have different types you know like fixed shifting so we will go with the fixed bottom navigation bar type then comes the background color for this bottom navigation bar so the background color for this will be black of course and then the selected uh, item color the selected item color now selected item color is the color that is that specific button on which the user clicked so that will be highlighted just to let the user know that is you want to go to this specific page so that button will be highlighted you know that is the selected color so that color will be colors dot white and then of course we have unselected item color that is let me tell you let's say we will have five buttons okay the user want to go to following so when the user click on the following icon button then the following will get highlighted okay that will be the selected color and the remaining four are unselected the remaining four are unselected so that is basically the unselected item color so the remaining four will have color which will be colors dot white 12 which is kind of little bit gray you know then the current index will be that is on which the user tap of course so that will be the current index current screen index and yeah that's it then we have to start adding the items item simply means the buttons for over this screen so the user can tap on it and navigate so that UI we have to add now so we can say bottom navigation bar item so the first one the first one will be for the home so you can say icon 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 start home and of course the size for this will be 30 like this and the label level alongside with it will be home okay so yeah then after it copy paste it four times okay as we have five screens in total next one will be discover or you can say search people okay and the icon for this will be search then we will have 
the following and of course the icon for this will be inbox underscore sharp then after the following we will have me that is the profile and the icon for that will be icon dot person okay so we have home discover following me and between let us cut this bottom navigation bar from here okay and between the discover and following that is at the center we will have the upload one okay that is upload new video we will design a custom icon for that just like you see the upload icon in TikTok. so inside the upload video okay that is right click on upload video right click on it new let's create a dot file and let's give it name as upload custom icon upload custom icon so inside the upload video we have our upload custom icon let's import material dot dot and let's just quickly implement this we can have a statless widget we will give it name as uh, upload custom icon then we can return the size box widget width for this will be 46 and the height for this will be 32 child stack widget inside the container widget let's add some margin agent set start only on the left it will be it will be 12 width will be 40 decoration box decoration color will be color dot from color dot from ARGB that is first one will be 256 250 46 and then 108 and let's apply border radius so border radius dot circular and from all sides it will be at now after this container we can copy paste this and it will be container agent set start only from the right side and this one will be 256 32 212 and 235 now it will be basically from the left side there will be a white background you can say and then from the right side there will be a white background and in the middle of these two there will be the add button well i'm talking about this upload button okay that is some white background from left side from right side in the middle we will have the add button so it is basically that design i hope now you understand now let's just quickly add at the center of this we will add the add icon that is the plus icon child container height will be double dot infinity width will be for decoration box decoration color will be white border radius will be border radius dot circular from all sides at and then after it after the decoration we can say child icon will be icons 
dot add and the color will be colors dot black and the size for this will be of course 24 will be enough so this is basically our custom upload icon button that is white background from the left side from the right side and then in the center with some box decoration we add this plus icon just like this okay we will have this button just like you see in TikTok. so yeah now let's just come back here to the home screen and what we can do is the the icon that we will have for the upload is we will call our upload custom icon here upload custom icon so this is all about our user interface these will be the five buttons for the five pages which we have implemented so what we can do is we can implement a list here above here and we can say list screens list and at the zeroth index we will have our first screen which is the for you that is when the user tap on the as you know the first icon we have is basically the home okay so this is at the zeroth index button and the screen for this the screen which we will assign to the zeroth index it will be basically the for you videos just like in instagram when you open up the instagram the first screen that you see is basically the for you so we will call here our for you screen here okay that is on the home we will have for you video screen that is our first screen at the zeroth index then at the first index for the discover we will have the search screen so at the first index or you can say one index will be search screen then at the second index that is at the two index second index we will have the upload so for the upload we have upload video screen then at the third index that is the third one is following so for the following the third index to the third index button we will assign the screen which is our following following video screen okay and then to the last index to the fourth index to the me button we will assign the last screen which is basically profile screen so now when the user click on the home icon button it will send the user to for you video screen and when the user click on the search icon button it will send the user to the search screen and when the user click on the upload custom icon button then it will send the user to the upload video screen and when the user click on the following uh, that is this icon okay which is following this icon when the user click on this it will send the user to the following video screen and of course when the user click on this me icon button then it will send the user to the profile screen however the other properties we already assigned to it that is for the selected that is if the user tap on for you then the for you icon will be highlighted and the other remaining four will be like this white 12 that is will be gray however the highlighted one will have pure white color so that is so simple and so easy and as we want to display this of course at the body of our home screen so we can say screens list and we will pass the index number to it on which the user will tap so that index number is the screen index as I told you each button has their own index 0 to index 1 index 2 index 3 index and 4 index okay so on any button the user tap let's say if the user tap on this then it has one index if the user tap here then it has three index that is third index okay so we will pass that index number to it in order for it to be highlighted you know now when we test the app you will understand all these things so the app is running now and here we go here you can see this is our user interface that is when the user click on the home screen we are automatically on the for you video screen as it is on the zeroth index 
let me show it to you okay and then when the user click on the discover we are on the search screen and then when the user click on the upload it says upload new video screen and when the user click on the following we are on the following video screen and when the user click on me then it is profile video screen so beautiful and so incredible and you can see that when I, when I click on any icon it highlighted the other ones get little bit gray of course this upload one has a by default this white color we assigned to it let's make it uh, further correct that is what we can do is we can change this our ARGB colors for it like if we go with 255 and 250 45 and then 108 for the left one and then from the right side it will be 255 and then of course 32 211 and then 234 so you see it looks now exactly like the TikTok button as you can see so this ARGB color which you can see on the side as you can see it is applied here and then this ARGB color which is basically this color it is applied here so uh, this button is by default also highlighted in the real TikTok app as you can see however on the other ones let me just install the app again on the other one as I told you the properties are that is the selected icon will have highlighted color which is white and the remaining ones will have a white 12 which is kind of gray color as you can see however for this button which is the upload by default we apply the decoration on it which is basically this icon as you can see the decoration for this is white if we change it to any other color that is let's say to white 12 then it will disturb this color okay it will not look like TikTok button then for example if I say change it to 12 it will become like this okay and this is not what we want we want it to be like a TikTok button okay like this as you can see so this one is correct so yeah